Popular Jewish Wisdom Legends abound about Jewish wisdom, and it's no wonder. Jews are often seen as the most resourceful and astute people, able to turn any situation to their advantage, regardless of others' opinions. There's no denying that Jewish wisdom has influenced people worldwide. The sayings of the children of Israel are not just witty phrases. They're a treasure trove of knowledge that can be tapped into endlessly. In this video, you'll discover eight ancient rules of Jewish wisdom, passed down from generation to generation, suitable for people of all ages and backgrounds. Preserve your honor and dignity. One of the most profound pieces of advice a father can give his son is to preserve his honor and dignity. Regardless of circumstances, it's crucial never to lose one's sense of dignity. Don't bow down to those who are stronger, whether physically or morally. If you're being humiliated, exploited, or manipulated, it's not normal. Fear the goat from the front, the horse from behind, and the fool from all sides. This applies to friends, bosses, and women alike. No one has the right to manipulate or coerce you. When alarming signs appear, it's essential to change your circle of communication and environment. Otherwise, things will only worsen. Remember, this saying isn't about pride, but about maintaining healthy reciprocity and equality in human relationships. Don't be overly accommodating, or you'll be taken advantage of. Don't be too harsh, or you'll be rejected. Learn to embrace challenges. Embrace challenges. It's okay to be laughed at. It's much worse when people cry for you. This Jewish saying is beloved by Mikhail Javanetsky. Why do Jewish sages try to instill it in young minds? Because life is not a carpet. It's a winding path. On it, you can fall and get up, become an object of envy and ridicule, do evil and do good. Living people are not immune to anything, and you need to be morally prepared for it. Awkward moments and difficult times make us stronger. A person should live at least out of curiosity, Jewish wisdom. And remember, difficulties will always be there, no matter how you live your life. Learn to love them. Everyone grieves about something. One about not having enough diamonds, another about not having enough beans in their soup. Love for books. Love for books. Everyone complains about the lack of money, but no one complains about the lack of intelligence. The love of books distinguishes almost all Jews without exception. They collect their treasures for years and often reread their favorite moments. If you have a Jewish friend, you know for sure that under no circumstances will they part with their books. Knowledge doesn't take up much space. If you drop gold and a book, pick up the book first. Jewish Wisdom If your deeds are greater than your knowledge, then knowledge is your price. If your knowledge is greater than your deeds, then it is worthless. Appreciate your work and earnings value your labor and the money you earn. Having money is not as good as being without it is bad. Whether it's dollars, shekels, or rubles, these currencies are highly respected by Jews of all ages and social statuses. It's not because many people consider Israelis to be immensely greedy and stingy. It's because diligence is deeply ingrained in Jewish blood. Every achievement in life is earned through hard work, as has been the case from generation to generation. That's why a Jew won't boast about their income or squander their fortune, as doing so would mean losing a part of their connection with their ancestors and the respect of their entire family. If a person doesn't grow, they diminish. Jewish wisdom teaches that Jews constantly save, invest, and improve their wealth. Take this to heart. Set aside at least 10% of your income every month and never spend it. You'll be surprised how your life will change after a few years of such savings. If a problem can be solved with money, it's not a problem, it's an expense. Respect the elderly. Respect the elderly. Many proverbs of the Jewish people emphasize the importance of respecting older individuals. They are honored and often people seek their advice regardless of the situation. In Israel, it's often said that as people get older, they see worse but understand more, as age in many cultures is associated with wisdom and experience. The wisdom and experience of the elderly are invaluable to the younger generation. However, it's wise not to blindly trust the words of the elderly. If you see a wise person conversing with a fool, understand that it's two fools talking. This is a lesson from Jewish wisdom. Be cautious around women. Exercise caution with women. If you've encountered Jewish men, you likely understand the significant influence women have on them. 
Men are careful in choosing their life partners because, according to Jewish belief, a failed marriage is a lifelong tragedy and divorce is simply not accepted in this community. A bad wife is more destructive than rain. Rain enters the house while a bad wife drives one out of it. It's also important to note that no man will marry without his mother's consent. This, of course, can be debated, but to some extent it serves as a guarantee of a successful choice. May God protect you from bad women and help you resist the good ones. This is a lesson from Jewish wisdom. Avoid gossip. Do not engage in gossip. It's remarkable that the Israeli people have a strongly negative attitude towards gossip and idle chatter. The key wisdom that children learn from an early age is expressed in the following saying, God gave man two ears and one mouth so that he would listen more and talk less. Indeed, among the Israeli people it's common to listen attentively and remember what is said, but they share it with others very cautiously and rarely. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that Jews have varied attitudes towards alcohol, but it's nearly impossible to find those among them who abuse strong drinks. Wine goes in, secrets come out. This is Jewish wisdom. Family Values Family Values, Children, and Parents This topic is not often discussed publicly in Israel, but it's important not to forget that virtually all Jewish life revolves around these values. Those who don't have children raise them well, mothers say, and they try to share stories about their beloved children with their friends as little as possible. There's also a common expression in Israel. Parents teach their children to speak, and children teach them to be silent. For a Jew, it's not as important to push their child into a prestigious educational institution and find money to pay the tuition as it is to instill the right life attitudes in their children. It's not about buying an apartment for a child, but teaching them how to earn money for it. And where there's one, there's a second, third, fourth, and so on. Yes, Jewish people are very hospitable, but it's important to remember that some people lack a sense of proportion. It's better to avoid gatherings with such guests altogether. Both guests and fish start to smell after three days. This is Jewish wisdom. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. See you next time, friends.